In this video, you'll learn about the Archway project, understand the structure of the Cosmos ecosystem and how Archway allows you to earn on the blockchain. And also, you will understand why the current cryptocurrency networks are unfair to application developers on an example of a car service. The Cosmos ecosystem can be thought of as an ordinary company. It consists of a marketing department, an accounting department, various executive offices and an administrative center. Each department is an essential part of the system with its own functions that can't exist on its own. Blockchains in the Cosmos ecosystem are also separate decentralized applications or networks with their own properties. They can communicate with each other directly without the Cosmos hub intermediary. For example, Archway would be the marketing department as its mission is to attract new developers and users to the Cosmos ecosystem. You can learn more about how the Cosmos ecosystem works from one of our previous videos. Archway is a smart contract utility blockchain for the Cosmos ecosystem, allowing developers to easily deploy full-fledged decentralized applications and receive rewards directly from the blockchain for their contribution to it. Internet has simplified access to information, but it has not completely simplified access to capital. Companies and developers around the world don't have the same opportunities. Current blockchains are not fair in terms of rewarding users for their contribution to the ecosystem. For example, if a car mechanic who manually assembled a car spent his energy and money on spare parts for repairs, would not receive any profit, because the car owner would pay the entire amount to the company that the mechanic works for. Archway aims to create a protocol that maintains a fair reward system on the blockchain that rewards not only the validators and early adopters, but also developers developers who improve the ecosystem. Developers are the lifeblood of the network, creating decentralized applications and services that attract new users and bring in millions of dollars in daily network fees. Also, in the classic blockchain, funds from users bypass developers who develop a blockchain ecosystem and fill it with decentralized applications. These funds go to validators who keep the network running smoothly. As a result, the dApps developers are forced to create their own tokens in order to receive any profit at all. Often, these are governance tokens with artificial value. At the same time, it is impossible to take all the funds from the validators and transfer them to the developers. It is necessary to find a middle ground that will fairly evaluate the contribution of each network member. Archway Protocol is created exactly with this goal. It brings a new reward system for active blockchain members opening the gateway to economics that is oriented towards developers. With the Archway protocol, decentralized applications can receive rewards from the main treasury, which is filled with transaction fees and rewards for staking the native blockchain token. This earning model is similar to how validators are rewarded for running nodes on a typical proof-of-stake blockchain. Archway allows dApp developers and their community to choose how the rewards are distributed. When a smart contract frame is created, the dApp developer specifies the address of the wallet owner, to which all rewards are automatically transferred. This address can be the wallet of one of the developers, the company's shared wallet, or be managed by a smart contract which opens up a wide range of ideas for further fund circulation. Unlike existing smart contract platforms, Archway does not burn fees, but distributes them between dApp developers and validators after each generated block. When the Archway network launches, the funds from fees will be divided equally, 50% will go to the developers and the other half to validators. However, this ratio may change in the future. Such a system cannot be abused, since it will be unprofitable for developers to make up transactions on the network, since gas discounts compensate only the half of the fees paid. As an added protection against potential abuse, uploading new contracts on the Archway network requires higher fees than regular transactions to prevent spam contracts from rolling out. The native token of the Archway network has the same inflation model as Atom. The tokens to reward validators and developers are minted in addition to the already circulating supply with annual inflation of 7-20%, to depending on the proportion of tokens that are staked. After creating new tokens, the Archway protocol shares a part of the newly created rewards with applications. When launched, 25% of the rewards will go to dApp developers, and 75% will go to validators. For example, if the total annual network inflation is 8%, then 2% will go to applications and 6% to validators. The total app rewards are then equally distributed based on the sum of all fees each app generates. In our example, the share of rewards for developers is 
In this case, the exchange, where 10% of all fees were paid, will receive 10% of the pool, which is equal to 0.2% of all protocol rewards. To mitigate potential multi-account attacks and ensure spam transactions are not profitable, each dApp has capped rewards. A contract deployed on Archway cannot receive more rewards than the total gas it generates during an epoch. Any surplus rewards will be sent to the Archway treasury, where the fate of the funds is decided by the community through votes. Smart contract platforms today charge network fees based on the amount of data in a transaction. While this measurement method works for the current web economy, it does not support use cases where the developer must cover additional costs such as server fees for data storage, off-chain data processing, oracle fees, insurance, and smart contract audits. With Archway, dApp developers can set their own fees for interacting with their smart contracts. For example, to set fees on a DEX depending on the user's trading volume. To make seamless interactions with fees, the smart contract fee is built directly into the network fee, so the end user don't have to pay fees twice. Since contracts can be integrated into multiple dApps at the same time, developers have the ability to receive fee payouts from multiple sources with a different user base interacting with their code. They can write and monetize a single contract rather than the full featured application. Imagine the speed with which the field of education would develop if Wikipedia users were rewarded for each article they publish. The rewards generated from the decentralized application can be transferred to a community-owned DAO, which is responsible for coordinating and funding new elements of the project. Here is DAOs, or Decentralized Autonomous Organizations, explained using an example of a vending machine. This machine requires maintenance. Someone has to pay the electricity bills, fix any troubles, restock the goods, and take the profits. Drawing analogies in the case of Deo, all maintenance tasks are performed by code or smart contract. As a result, the entire process from replenishing the vending machine with chips and maintenance to collecting profits is done offline without human intervention. However, any system needs improvement and this is the role of a human in the DAO. Any organization consists of many people who, for example, own a project token and have the right to propose changes to the system and vote. The only difference is that the strength of their vote depends on the number of tokens they own. DAO funds can be permanently contributed to the organization's treasury, allowing participants to collectively manage assets and redistribute them according to the specific needs of the project. Such a DAO can vote to fund the development team, sponsor events and hackathons, pay for code audits, open bounty hunts, launch educational programs to educate the audience, subsidize third-party integrations, and so on anything that can potentially benefit and expand the ecosystem. The DAO itself can exist and operate as a set of smart contracts on top of Archway, so the whole process is automated and transparent throughout the initial collection of rewards, voting and the distribution of grants. Giving participants collective control over the treasury helps to actively involve the community in the life of the project and contributes to the gradual decentralization of the application itself. DeFi projects can use the funds generated by the protocol to increase the rewards for providing liquidity, which is a vital strategy for attracting new users and encouraging active participation. On chains like Ethereum, DEX users pay two fees, a network fee and an exchange fee. The network incentivizes validators to run nodes, while the exchange fee incentivizes liquidity providers to provide liquidity on the DEX. On Archway, the DEX can be designed to effectively eliminate one of these fees. Instead, the DEX protocol can redistribute earned funds back into liquidity pools to increase profitability, which attracts new users to the project. Previously, each zone was forced to independently seek funding, receive grants, and spend developers' time creating tokens. Archway allows the entire Cosmos ecosystem and its zones to develop together, focusing on the practical benefits of each project for real users. Which project from the Cosmos ecosystem would you like to see reviewed next? Subscribe to the Krypton channel and our social media. All links will be in the description. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments down below. Support the video by leaving a like and subscribe to our Twitter. The link to it is in the description. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.